Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Map First Impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Pemberlin Deluxe. This map can be found over at fsuk.com, and there will be a link to the map in the description. Uh, this map is an extension of Pemberlin, uh, which was originally released many, many, many moons ago over at uh, the Three Dudes Gaming Network, uh, which uh, seems to have on by the wayside at this point, but at any rate, Pemberlin Deluxe is here. Uh, it is a continuation of that map uh, that was over at Three Dudes Gaming Network, but has been enhanced and expanded uh, a little bit. Uh, this is a very small map, advised for very small equipment. Uh, you don't want to be bringing the big bud into this thing, that's for sure. Uh, this map includes all of the standard Farm Sim 17 features. 21 fields, some with missions, uh, separate farms spread across the map, multiple cell points, uh, challenging terrain, and multi-terrain angle, chop straw, and this map is Seasons Prepared. Let's go ahead and jump on in. I'm going to leave all the DLCs checked, and we're going to go ahead, well, we won't need the helicopter for this particular tour, that is for sure. Let's take a couple, uh, couple other mods here that are in the uh, testing folder out we're not going to need them this particular tour and let's load up the map and watch the log load up here map overall loads up very quickly and uh, we have a modest list of starting equipment that is loading up there and here we are so let's take a look at the map itself as you can see it is a rather small affair but quite detailed and quite the uh, interesting field layout and setup. You can see we start by owning two, three, seven, six, nine, twelve, and seventeen, oops, and fifteen. Okay. Uh, now where I think Pemberlin, the original map, I think it ended basically here and over here. So I think the sheep were moved to a different location. Um, it's been quite a while since I, I've been at that map. I think these four field areas were added. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at all the fields and everything. Uh, here we've got our standard crops on the map. There are two main cell points for our green crops. We've got a cell point for wool and wood chips. There is a BGA, so we have a cell point for silage, manure, and slurry. We also have a cell point for bales, or loose hay, straw, and grass, as well as for straw pellets and hay pellets, should you have the straw harvest DLC. You see this list of starting equipment here. It's all very new, and none of it is leased. Go ahead and take out a loan so that we can buy up some animals as we tour around the map. And speaking of animals, we have sheep, pigs, and cows all here on the map. Uh, we do not start out with any specific uh, number of those. And our silo has a capacity of 400,000 liters. Let's take a look at that starting equipment. We start out the map with a New Holland 8340, as well as a Voltra N series. Uh, that ranges in horsepower from 125 to 145 horsepower. We've got front loader arms, a pallet fork, and bale spike. We've got the 1660 harvester with grain header and header trailer. Small farm tech tipper, cultivator, plow, and seeder. We've got the small Amazon row crop seeder and the small fertilized spreader. Weight, side mower. With a tether, wind rower, and round baler, and that's what closes out the set. So let's go ahead and pick up our gator so we can drive around the map a little bit. The map is honestly so small, we could just run around the uh, map on foot, but uh, this will make it a little bit more efficient. The shop is down here. Let's see if we can select the gator from our list.
All right, there's the gator. So let's so go ahead and reset that. See where it's back. So it sets back at the shop. So once we tour the main farm here, we're going to jump down to the shop and start our tour there. So here is the main spawn point right outside of our house here. And so this is the main farm. And open up these gates. And right across the street, we can see one of the fields that we own. Right here. And uh, it's 1.55 hectares, $125,000. Got an interesting yard here. Front weight. Got some barrels back in there. Something I did like was that we've got the front loader arms and front loader implements here in this little book. Uh, and then right next to it, we've got a static uh, decorative object as well as crossed here. We've got those barrels and everything. Front weight parked in front of that. So we've got, you know, active game items as well as static uh, map objects all kind of sprinkle around together. To, to give you a sense that uh, maybe maybe this trailer really was parked in here by a farmer and not just a, a static, you know, animated deal. Got fuel right here. And around the corner, we have our main farm silo with our tip and our fill points right there. Big storage shed with our... Harvester, grain header, and header. Or not, yeah. Header trailer and our grain header. We've got seed fill points here, water, and liquid fertilizer um, fill points over here. It says it's got a picture of a liquid fertilizer, but I'm with the fertilized spreader here. I'm wondering if it isn't solid fertilizer. Solid fertilizer spreader has solid. Fertilizer in it. Quite nice. Go ahead and check uh, these cedars and see if they have uh, seed in them. Indeed, this one does start out with seed. Very, very nice. Let's see. Can we fill this? Yes, we can. It's pretty nice that we start out with. Uh, both cedars are full of seed. Ultra. And around the corner here we have our our hay making equipment basically. We have a covered silage bunker right here. Then right around the corner we have our cows. So here we have the liquid slurry. Or a pile, silage trough, got the delivery trigger for our cows, and we have the water trough in here, and the grass trough is over here. That is our cow area. Pretty cool. This field right here is field 11. You would think that this would be owned by the farmer, but it is not. I like how we've got this for sale sign here off to the side. Field 11 is 1.18 hectares, $95,000. Field prices are pretty much in line with traditional um, farm sim pricing. S storage building over here that you could uh, probably put your bales on underneath and whatnot. I see a light there, but I don't see a light switch. So maybe this light comes on at night automatically. And that's basically the, the main farmyard is the, uh, the cow farm. So let's tab over to our gator. We are 
at the shop. We've got our shop trigger there and our customize repair and sell trigger right here. Nice little shop. All right, let's go ahead and jump on in and just start exploring things. So right across the uh, street from the shop, we have the animal dealer. This is where we're going to be able to pick up our animals or actually buy them from a single point here. One thing I do like about the map was its uh, its consistent use of uh, colorings for the signs. It gives you a real sense of um, uniformity, for the most part. Here we have our log cell point and our wood chip cell point. Wood chips here and logs here. There is a small forest on the map, but it is not the not the most dense. The planted in trees, basically see it right there to our left, or basically in front of us, right behind the church. So there is not a a, a, a large amount of trees to cut, but if you want to come in and do a little bit of forestry, then uh, you're going to have a place to sell that stuff. We have Pimberlin grain sales. Back up your trailer into uh, this point sell your grain. That's one of the two um, sell points here on the map for grain. All right. Now, let's go ahead and head on up here and see if we can't check out the chickens and the pigs next. Right off to the left just ends. That is the end of the map. Here we are driving through guess, downtown Pemberlin. Church on the left and then we know we need to turn here. Our church on the right. Turn left to go back this road to get to the uh, chickens and pigs. Check out field 16, which is right here. Field 16 is 2.13 hectares, $172,000. Field 15 is right on the other side of that tree line. It's one that we own. Here is our chickens. Our cultivator and plow is over here. Chicken coop. Not really sure where the chickens plop their eggs down, but my guess is it's going to be all around here. On the ground. Around the side here, we have some pearl storage. And whatnot, you could uh, put your root crops in there for your pigs. Pig area is right over here. We have the slurry and manure for our pigs. Roll field 17 is one that we own, is right here beside the pigs. We have the food trough water trough, and the pickup and delivery point. Pigs. They are. I'm back over here. Check out Big Field 14. Eagle Field 14, 4.36 hectares, $353,000 for this one. It's 
back around here and get in our gator. And what we saw was a little hint of a placeable zone back here past the uh, pigs. Go check that out. Here we have the placeable for our pigs. <laughs> Not placeable for our pigs, but a big, large area, placeable area. We could put stuff down in. And over here we've got big old field 18. Two point nine eight hectares, two hundred forty one thousand. Some railroad tracks. No, no animated railroad or uh, train that I am aware of. Let's head on back. Here, kind of a little bit of a maze. Bit of a bumpy road. Get back here to the main line. Main road. And then off here to our right is the BGA. Oops, sorry. Didn't quite get there. That is the entrance to the little forest. All right. Here. Just before the bridge is the entrance to the Pemberlin bio plant. Nice little biogas plant. We've got ourselves one big one bunker here. Trigger pop up. Got our digestate here and our silo king. Go ahead and around here and what we'll do is go across the street which will take us up to the uh, sheep area if I am correct so field 15 here to our left is one of the fields that we own at the start really nice sizable field For that, we've got ourselves a nice uh, waterfall here. Pretty cool. All right, so it's like right up around the corner here. We've got, um, oh, this must be the, uh, this is a train tunnel, I guess. It's all that from, uh, the other side, we saw that building up on the hill kind of when we were doing the uh, pig farm. And here is the sheep area. Back way into field 19. Good. What's up? And while we're down here, go ahead on down here. I think this is... No, this isn't. This is all new. I'm going to say I think this is where the old uh, train station was, but uh, oh, that is the edge of the map. All right. 
And here we have our sheep. Where we will buy or deliver our sheep. Wandering around back here, we've got the water trough right there. And then inside the building here, we've got the feed trough. Sheep wander around. Come on in here, and then this is where the trough is. And here's where our wool spawns. Doesn't look like we get too many uh, pallets here, so you have to keep an eye on that. I have to clear that out. Fairly regular. Got some older sheep just hanging out over here. Some static sheep. Got some general storage areas here for some equipment. This side of the map. Whole field one, 1.73 hectares. Send butts up there. It's field 18, which we looked at a little bit, a little bit ago. All right, let's turn around here and make our way back out to the main road. We'll go across the river, across the little waterway, and uh, check out check out the rest. There's not a lot left of the map; just some uh, some general arable fields. And I think uh, a couple cell points. Back way. Back way. Cut through this field here. Um, you cut through field 11 to get back here. The sheep from the cow farm. Uh, directly to our left, we've got a nice little uh, storehouse here, store shed. Uh, we could put bales in here or just some random equipment or whatever we wanted to. And then here we have some more cell points. County stores. Timberland Branch. So here we have our other cell point. Second grain cell point. All right, then we've got our eggs, egg cell point, and we have our wool cell point. Then here is the hay, straw, and grass cell point. Lots of stuff right here, centralized um, on this side of the river. Go up here. Can there is main entryway Pemberland Farm there. It's the main entry main farm. Area to our right, that is a dead road at end. Come around here to the left and make our way down the road here just a little bit. There is a Quite a steep entryway into Field 7. Here is Field 7. We own that particular field. Say, if you, uh, you played this map with MR, you would have quite a bit of difficulty, I think, in getting up into that field. On in here to, to the main farm. Go. Oh.
main farm, which we've already explored, is off here to our left. We've got several fields and whatnot. All right, so then we've got uh, some more fields back in here. And down this way, we just got some more fields up into uh, up into here. Actually, I think up here this I think this up here was where the sheep were sheep were up in this general area this time. And again, I don't, it's been quite a long time since I looked at that map. Field 13 over here has the remnants of what looks like an old tower. And then just past this gate, we've got the uh, big fields 20 and 19. Five point six nine hectares in field nineteen. Three point eight. So guys, that is the map. That is Pemberland Deluxe. Again, you can get the map over at FSUK. This is a Dusty Dave map. And uh until next time, happy farming.